Here we go. Problem number one. Alright, so it says that a sailor is building a skateboard ramp. Guys, we're recording. Let's go. We're building a skateboard ramp. And based on the plans that this is shown, right? Uh, which is the closest length of the ramp from point X to point Z? Okay, so obviously what they want to know is what this distance is right here. Okay? The, the distance between <laughs> X to Z. Okay? And the way I like to teach this, so pay attention, this is um, really confusing. Okay? But I try to make it easy. Okay? So in the book, they're going to give you this XZ, XY, YZ explanation. And it's like so much harder than... Think of a right triangle as having a small side, right? So we've already talked about the big and smalls before with the 90, 30, 60, 90, right? So this side has a small side, right? The medium side and then the large side, okay? So the large side is the full distance, okay? That full distance, that's the large, okay? And then this is broken up into two pieces, that makes sense? So there's a, a small piece of the large, right? And there's a medium size to the large. So an SL and, a, and an ML, okay? Just to kind of put those in, in I could call it M1 and M2, or I mean, sorry, L1 and L2 if you wanted. It's really what, what you want to call it, okay? I like this to go small because this is small. Does that make sense? Now, the key here is there are certain formulas, all right? And all the formulas break down into, if you want to know this height, we're always going to call this the height, okay? So H, okay? So the height is the perpendicular distance from the base to the top of the triangle, okay? And as long as this is the right triangle, we can use what's called the geometric mean. Okay, that's all that is. Geometric mean. And when we did the geometric mean, it means you multiply two things and take the square root of it. Okay? So the geometric mean of, um, of this small side, okay, is... The small side over the large side. So adding to the large side. Or multiply, sorry, multiplying by the large side. So the large side here is going to be 4 plus 8, which is 12, right? So that's your large. Okay? So if I want to know the small, the small is going to be equal to the square root. Okay? And I, the way I like to think of it is if I have this triangle like this, right? I have this piece, right? I have the large, I have the small large, the medium large, the height, the small, and the medium, right? And this is basically the small is equal to this. This medium is equal to this. And the large, or the height, is equal to this. So this would be the height, the medium, okay, and the small. So the small is always going to be equal to the square root of the SL times the L. Okay? And the M is going to be equal to the L times the ML. Okay? And the height, which is the one they're going to ask you the most about, okay, 
It's just going to be the square root of these two. SL times ML. All right? We just got to know what they're asking us. Well, they're asking us for S, right? So that's this guy. The square root of these two multiplied, right? So it's going to be 4 times 12. What's 4 times 12? 36. 48. Try again. 48. There you go. <laughs> All right. So now we got to break down 48. Do you remember how to break it down? <laughs> yeah. Remember that breakdown? 48. What goes into 48? 12. 2. 2. Start out with 2's, right? Remember, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, so forth. Okay? And then we're going to take out our pairs. So we're not trying to take the biggest number that goes into it. We really want the smallest. Does that make sense? Okay, so 2 goes into here 24 times. Right? Right. Two. Twelve. Okay. Two. Six. Two. Three. Two. No. No. So then you go to the next one, which is three. Three. One. And when you get to one, you're done. Okay? And this is breaking down radicals. Okay? Now we just go through and we circle. What? Our pair. Our pair. Right? So we bring out one, two, another two, and these are going to be multiplied, right? About whatever's left that's not circled. Square root of three. So it's two times two? Four. Four. So that'd be four. Square root of three. So S is equal to four square root of three. Now that is the actual number. And then if they want you to, you can put this in a calculator, right? And say 4 times the square root of 3. And you get 6.9. And that's approximately 6.9. Where did we get 12 from? 22. Ah. 12 is the 4 plus the 8. Oh, okay. Makes the large side. Okay? And now we can find any of them. So what I want to do is I want to uh, find the M and the H just so you know how to find all of them since we're doing the video, right? So how would I do the M? Yeah. M is equal to L times ml, right? Square rooted, of course. And in this case, so that would be the L12 times what? Eight. Eight, good. Okay. So then M would be equal to 12 times eight, which is, it'd be twice as big as the other one. 96. Okay? Because 4 is twice as big as, or 8 is twice as big as 4, right? So that's why 48 times 2. Okay? Alright, so think about this. We'd just be doing two of these 48s, right? Okay? So now you got 96, break it down. So 2 is what? Isn't it 48? Oh. Right? You better be, because we multiplied it by 2 to get there, right? So it just has an extra 2, that's it. So, okay, so 2, and then that's going to be 20.